Hey there guys, Rothbox here, and today we're going to dive into a premiere draft from March of the Machines. Uh, we've been doing a lot of sealed lately, but I think it's time to finally dive into actual draft. So uh, I'll see you in it. Okay, so we're picking this. Um, I mean, this is a terrible pick. This is not the correct pick, but the, here we are. We're picking this first. I think it's going to be really fun. And so, all right, pack one, basically, then we're going to be focusing, focusing on dual lands. Bombs and dual lands. If we find those, I think packs two and three, we can kind of put together the deck. But we're focusing on getting five colors. To be fair, we only actually need four. Black is Phyrexian for this, but, I mean, you know. So I'm just reading this. Uh, if you would lose unspent mana, it becomes black instead. Okay, hold on. Obosh could be pretty sick. And it is technically where. Alright. I, I, I'm taking two five drops to begin with. Alright, but now, I'm not kidding when I say, okay, there's nothing here that's that great. Nothing here that's really a removal spell. So what we're doing then is, yep, uh, Cutchworth's pretty good, but I think we're, once again, take the dual land. We're going to be ta focusing on dual lands pack one as the primary thing we're picking. Um, Invasion of Kylums, medium. This card's really good. This card's pretty good. There's no dual land in this pack. I like this card quite a bit. Backup two is pretty crazy. I think I'm gonna take this as a single mana card. Dual land most likely. Cut short I really like. Wicked Slumber's been okay. Um, Invasion's actually pretty decent also. Everything else is kind of all right. Assimilated Essence is okay, but it's not something I'm in love with. So this is kind of going off the base of uh, Numot, whose draft theory is that this color format, because it's so bomb heavy, you draft basically five color soup, and you just go bombs and fixing in the first pack. I mean, that's still a very good card. Yeah, this is one of those cards where even if you can't put it as your companion, just having a 3-3 three, three for three, Seems good in the deck. Especially with the ability tower creature can't block this turn. Activate abilities. That aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. Which also means that incubate is free. That's right everyone. Incubate becomes free. That is broken. So Zero is actually quite good in this format. Um, right now, funny enough, we can still have Obot as our companion. Maybe we're going to have an Obot on that deck. I don't hold me to that. That sounds nearly impossible, considering the best removal is to uh, to cost. Um, yeah, this is pretty mediocre. Brawl's okay, but nothing amazing. I like continuing picking up dual lands here. Red, getting a red one's also huge too, because every one of our cards is red in it right now. So um, we can definitely focus on like red green um, and see where we go from there. We, Usually you want to try to stick to kind of focusing on two, two, three colors and splashing the rest. Um, so we will see how that all shakes out at the end. But, all right, we're, we're not doing too bad. We've got three dual lands already, which is pretty good. Um, this deck will be slow as a result. Because of so many dual lands, you are basically playing turns behind. So you have to be smart about how you play this. Um, that being said, this form is a little slower. I'm not as concerned about, you know, jamming stuff on the board immediately. But I don't think this card is entirely game winning on its own, so we do have to be careful. Okay, we don't have anything. This is actually not a bad. I don't. I actually like Render Inert. I think it's actually quite good. That card's actually not terrible. It's just as a blocker to hold down the board. Um, I think I'm gonna take. Hmm. I think I am going to take Render a Nerd. That being said, though, I think I do like the other card maybe a little bit better overall. Okay. Let's see. Creatures you control first. I have Double Strike. This guy's kind of mid. I don't love him. This guy's... We need Knights. All right. So that's, this is some of the question. We're going to get that 
back. I think I will take this guy for now. Um, ooh, okay. This card's pretty good. This card I've been liking. Actually, I enjoy this card. Aerial boost is okay. This card's not bad. I do think I'm just taking the dual land here, though. So I think that's my primary focus for this pack. So if we don't play this guy, then we can play Obacha as our companion. Because right now we cannot. So that is something to think about. And yeah, currently we cannot play Zerd as a companion because of Omnath and Obosh, which do not have activated abilities. The other ones do actually, so that was kind of something to look at for sure. Um, but that being said, like I said, we're staying open. You don't force companions if they don't work. Uh, if you can make them work, that's awesome, but companions are... If you have to make your deck bad to make a companion sit in the companion slot, it's not necessarily worth it. Companions are good when you can kind of alter like if your deck is an a and you make it an a minus to a b plus companion might be worth it because the bonus is so high if your deck goes from an a to a c it's not worth it um i don't care about any of these i mean i'll take this because finally said funnily enough if uh this is a one drop and sometimes so that's what we're looking for maybe i should take the beat stick basically makes us treasures which lets us cast things better but i don't know if i like it um don't want that i mean i'll take this but i don't particularly like it either i'm gonna take another one i mean it's a one two for one that i can dump mana into if i need to it's stuff like omnath actually you get to if you have any unspent mana it just becomes black mana which means you can use it for all these abilities which is not insignificant Okay, Rampaging Raptor is a bomb. Nothing else in here is that good. Nothing else here is that great. Direction Sensor is actually... I don't love. I think it's actually quite annoying. I'm taking the Raptor. I do think it's very good. Interesting. Okay, Corruption is good. I think... I like Argentro, but I think I want Vanquish here. We don't have much removal right now, and I think I want... I do like Serpent Blade also, though. Um... No, I'm taking Vanquish here. We haven't seen... We need to grab a couple more dual lands. I think we're still low on dual lands. Um... I think the Oboss Dream is probably dead. That's okay. I can cut this card pretty easily if we need to. It's a good card, but it's nothing crazy. There's nothing like that's gonna make me feel the need to like force this. Rampaging Raptor is just so good that um, I'm totally fine. Uh, not playing Obosh for Rampaging Raptor. Four four Trample Haste. Two in a red. Give it plus two plus zero. And whenever it deals combat damage to a opponent, it deals that much damage to a Planeswalker or Battle. That is crazy. Oh, okay, Invasion of Kamigawa is quite good. Highlands is very good for us. Collective Nightmare is very good. Um, we don't have any battles yet. I think I'm gonna take Nightmare though. I think Nightmare, so I think we just don't have a ton of removal. I think Nightmare's good. Okay, this is a little more difficult. Dual Land's good. I actually think Captive Weird is very powerful in a deck like this. It's a 1-3 for early game, and then 3 in a red, you transform an extra top card of your library until the end of your next turn you may play that card. Which means it's card advantage, it lets us be a little slower, it lets us dig for what we need. I actually think that's quite powerful. Rada is, funnily enough, might be amazing in our deck. Let's see. Uh, Describe three reveal top of your library is land or double base card, draw a card. Okay. Trample Ward 2. That's okay. Um, it's not, it's not, it doesn't work though because it's not basic land types. That's frustrating. I think I am going to take the... Uh, I'm going to be disciplined to take the dual land, I think. There wasn't anything there that I really felt the need to take. Um, these are good. I think I'm taking 
the weird again, though. I think weird's gonna be good in this deck. I really like Media of the Mind. I think it's powerful. Nothing else here is super good. That's kind of annoying against us. Um. I think I'm going to take the card draw. I think this card's quite... It's okay. Uh, I'm like looking at it. I'm like, is it that good? I'm like, no, it's not. Um, okay, this is... Sorry, this, this draft has become very challenging. I'm just taking another dual land here. Yeah, I don't... I don't have any, I, so I'm not playing anything that has a lot of shared creature types is the issue. I will play this card. Because this card just says they sacrifice something. And that's good enough on its own. Serpent Blade, I will happily play. I think this card's quite good. Death Touch and Backup, which means he put on a creature and has, he can just attack for free, basically, because they don't want to deal with it. I'll take another battle. I think Invasion Kamigawa is quite good. Um, we have a lot of fixed lands right now. The one problem right now is, of course... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where, ooh, this card's not bad. Um, I think I'm gonna take a cut short. I think cut short's good. This card's fine. I really don't like the two cards. I don't want to take them. I'll take this on the sideboard. Not really my goal to play that, but you know it is what it is. C double is very good. Hmm. But also Vicanic Spite. I do think C Double is a better card. I think being able to copy anything is very powerful. So I think I am going to take that. Into the fire. What is this? Deals two damage to each creature plays over a battle. Any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library. Um, interesting. So I could take this as a mini board wipe for the early game. I don't dislike that. Invasion of Xerx is quite good. The target creature just on his hand. try it out i've never played that card yet i'm gonna give it a shot i don't know if it's good but i think it's interesting um this card is attacks created tapped and attacking tokens copy of it one counter on that token for each one one counter on first plus conqueror uh weird you get counter oh so you have to do backup onto that interesting not super into that. That just seems kind of odd to me. Um, Scrub Bruiser is not bad. Honestly, I kind of like... I mean, this card's quite good, actually. Um, uh, it's less good in our deck because we don't have that much stuff as mana value two or less. I like the four cycler here for fixing our lands if we need to. Same thing. The plane cycler is going to be perfect. This creature and this other creature. Like, I think these are fine, but I just think the actual invasion is hard to flip and kind of weird. It doesn't really do what you want it to do, is the issue. Um, we three, we control the dice rail one. It's okay. I think I just want another cut short here. Yeah, just take another cut short. I don't want a third cut short. That feels aggressive. Okay, this is a good question. Oh, no, it's not. Actually, this fixes mana. Which, I mean, like I said, I think that pick may have been weird from a lot of people's perspective, but I think the fact that it fixes mana is very helpful. Um, Title Terror is not bad, actually. I have one, two... I think I'd like to take the invasion. I 
we're definitely going to be cutting some weird cards in this deck. I actually don't think I'm playing out. Well, maybe I am. I mean, I have a lot of th My three drops actually... Wait, hold on. Give a sorcery with odd mana value. Okay, so... Into the Fire does four damage. Which is maybe a bad thing, because I like, kill stuff like Obosh and Rampaging. It's a little funny. Um, it, it makes my weirds... And my... Dune Shapers do more. Um, I could take the invasion of Xerex here. Or just more fixing. I'm gonna be fixing. All day fixing. Um, I'm sure creature planeswalker. want to play this urn. I don't really want to play this Wicked Slumber. You know what? If we're really desperate for playables, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't actually know how many playables we have. I haven't counted. Alright, this is a deck. <laughs> this is one of the decks of all time. Um... I might have made a horrible mistake, but I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, we're not playing Obosh as a companion. We're not playing Zerda as a companion. So we have 45 cards right now in the deck. Um, which also means I think we cut... Obosh. Do we have any incubates? I guess it also costs, cuts on the ability... Okay, that's actually crazy with Transform. Okay, yeah, we're keeping that. That's actually nuts. Um, how many creatures do we have? We have 13, which doesn't feel great. I don't really care about Sunlight Essence. I'm going to cut that. I mean, realistically, we cut this card. I think this card's not good in the deck. Really, we shouldn't be playing this. We don't have any card with three or more mana symbols. Combat. Look at the top card of your library. Reveal it if it's three more land. Uh, if you do. Yeah, so basically it just makes all our mana become black mana. Um, I mean, I think it's going to be funny. I think I'm going to try it out. Like I said, I don't think it's actually good. I think Render Inert because we're playing... Invasion of Kamigawa, Invasion of Dominaria, Invasion of Azgol. I think we want to play Render Inert. Plus Rampaging Raptor is nice. Well, Darren Thrill Seeker. It'd be a good way to finish the game. Just chucking a Timberland Ancient at someone. Seems powerful. This is tough. Um, I don't really like Furnace Gremlin, but I think I would need something low enough. I mean, we have these guys, I guess. I guess this makes his ability cheaper, but I still won't think it's what we exactly want to do but that being said we only have 13 creatures i think it's fine to cut one i think it's fine to cut him Dude, do i want to keep doom shaper i think so i could be really greedy I think I'm going to be greedy. Yep, we're going greedy. All right, um, this is going to be a very interesting draft, and I will see you guys in the games. Okay, so this is the kind of hands that I'm a little bit afraid of, and I know they're going to come around, but this is... Oh, see, this is actually okay. I'm going to keep this, put C-double on the bottom... So let us play Flywheel Racial on two. We can still have land cycle if we need to. Yeah, this is actually okay. So it's not ideal. With that being said, I think we get to draw a bunch of cards here. This will help fix our mana. We have cut short for a removal spell. I actually think this is gonna be okay. That's a good card though. Um, I'm just gonna play this. So draw, get some life, draw a card. Cool. So I don't have a creature here. 
That's fine. Okay, shirt. Three, four. I think I'm just gonna pass and keep cut short up. Yeah, this is a little awkward. I would like to see a creature at this point. But I think this is fine. I think if they transform, this is this is all fine. If they trans they're not transforming yet. They can't and that transform is a sorcery. So I think I'm just gonna cut short their salad. They can't transform now. I'll take two here, and that's fine. I would like to draw Okay, sure. Oh, okay, that's a little scary. That's not what we wanted to see. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. We're about to get hit for a lot this turn, but we've gained a lot of life, which does help. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, this is these are not exactly the draws I wanted, but that being said, I do get to just cast this and I get to take their flyer. I could have I guess crewed the flywheel racer, but that felt pretty pointless. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. Which I kinda knew was gonna happen, but that's fine. It does mean that I get to block one of their creatures now. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. So not the not not the best thing in the world. Um I would like to draw not lands. I cut lands to be greedy and now I'm just seeing lands, which is, you know. Actually that's not bad here. Go. Yeah, it's actually fine. Okay. Now I can tap this to Convoke kind of and kill whatever they play. They kill this before combat, though. I'm a little, little less happy. They have like unlimited mana. Um, I wonder if they have the backup Menace Swamp Cycler guy. Or that! Holy guacamole! Um, okay, I need my... Okay. I have a card that can deal with this. I need to draw that rare I took that does two damage to all creatures. If I can draw that, I think we're okay. I really want my deck to stop giving me lands. Well, they're getting to fairy, and I can't do a thing about it. This is, or just killing me, right? Oh, <laughs> oh right. That'll that'll do that too. Okay. Well, let's go to the next game. Okay, so this hand is exactly kind of what this deck wants, I think. So we're keeping this. It's a little awkward with the way the lands work out. Um, but I think it's fine. Yeah, so we're going to play this first. We can play Dune Shaper next. And I can play another, another land. And then after that, I'll be able to play Thrill Seeker. A little annoying that it ended up like that but that being said i'm just gonna block this all day i can play thrill seeker and then i can go into invasion um actually this is looking pretty good let's we'll see what they have sure good for convoke very good for convoke oh uh, yep let's just Throw these on this dude. Um, no, I'm, I'm kind of cool hanging out. Um, I can try on this next turn if I want, and it'll be a 6-5 trample, which is pretty good. It's hard to deal with. I mean, if they have Stoke the Flame, they have Stoke the Flame here. 
or cut short even if I attack. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, okay, cool. Card to card, draw two cards. It's pretty good. That being said, this will be nice. Well, it depends on what they would do here. I'm assuming they're not attacking. I don't think they can attack. Yeah. So they can easily convoke cut short still. So I think... I am going to transform, but I'm not attacking. The put on top of your deck, I believe is a sorcery. Yeah, we're not attacking here. I mean, I think I said if they can deal with it, they can deal with it. It is what it is. Um, it's not easy for them to flip Invasion of Mercadia unless they just stoke that. Okay, so that's fine. Still fine for me here. They definitely have cut short. Like, I can just feel it in my bones at this point. That or some other Convoke Enchantment, maybe? They can't activate this. This is three mana. They have... Oh, Aerial Boost. Okay, sure. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> so like I have to, no, okay, we're gonna play it next turn. We're gonna play it next turn. Is it sweet to play? Yeah. Do I need to play it? Nah. Um, and this is gonna flip on no matter what. They cannot block enough. I got Trembopoline. I'll flip this and then I got my dudes. They are cool. They can draw me cards. And then I get to slam Omnath, which will, is not the right play even, but I mean, I want to do it. Like, I really want to do it. It does let me keep a Voldon Thrill Seeker at all times, which is kind of funny. Also, not letting them use his ability is really good. Um, that card is very powerful. Hmm, okay, that's annoying. Sure, what are they picking? Is it worth letting them flip this and just killing some of their stuff? I don't hate it. I mean, this card's annoying, but fine. I'm gonna play Omni next turn and then this guy. There are three. I guess they become annoying. Yeah, I think this is fine. Do I want to let them flip it? This is actually a tough one. Three, two, three twos. Whenever this one creature attacks, put a one one counter on it. I think they because they have this stupid flame right. I don't want to do it. I don't know. It also means they're going to flip it probably next turn, but it's kind of fine.
All right, this is maybe the wrong decision, but I wonder if I'm just gonna do this. Oh, that's kind of sick, actually. All right. If they want to not have me flip this, they're gonna have to. Sure, so I get to flip this. I have another 4-4 uh, four, four Flying Vigilance, which is very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this guy. It's not ideal, but I, once again, I kind of don't mind. If this flips, I still get to kill it with a Faith Keeper. I mean, they probably can have something. And this ability lets them... They can't do both at the same time, because this is 3 and this is 3, and they only have 5 mana. So we'll see what they want to do here. I don't mind them flipping the invasion at this point. At this point, it doesn't really bother me. They're going to do it anyway. So I think I just take good blocks. Um, that's what they're doing. This game's, I mean, these games have been interesting. Yeah, they're going to attack. What do you got? What are you sending out? Oh, just everything? You want to use this ability of plus one plus O. Oh. That seems fine. They have to have a combat trick. They're gonna have to have a combat trick and I don't really mind if, I mean, or they can just do this to get rid of the invasion this way and if they pay the three and discard that's kind of fine like i feel like they have something nope okay they're just using this this is fine sure that's fine i mean they do make two one ones also which is obnoxious they have a lot of creatures now wait Excuse plus one plus oh. why did that kill my guy that was a 1-1. One, one. What? Oh, I blocked the tooth. I'm stupid. I blocked in the wrong direction. That's fine. That one's on me. That That's entirely on me. Um, I'm also just going to pay 5 here. And I'll turn this into black mana. I need to draw cards though. I need to get some value right now. This is the problem I'm facing. I'm just gonna die to a lot of one ones is the issue. Uh, sure. Okay, so Omnath can't block this turn. That's fine. Okay, you transform this turn. That's fine. A little weird to me. Yeah, I was like... Oh, I just... Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize I just get the card. That's actually kind of sick then. Okay, so let's play this. Might as well play this. Uh, I'd like you to sacrifice a creature. I know you have one ones, that's okay. Um, I do just get to attack this. Yeah, they don't have, I mean, they can block with the Sky Flayer if they want. No, yeah, okay. Cool. Cool, all right. Doing good. I got 25 life, so I'm not super worried right now. You can use this card defensively, but I mean, I'm kind of okay if they do that. Hmm. If they want to use that here, that's fine. They make two two ones. All the guys get buffed. Yep. Okay. So this is, there's attacks happening. But I also know what's they've, they've used the last cards. They don't. That's all they have on board. So I know what I can block and what I can't block. 
That's fine. See, this is weird to me, because they're basically just gonna lose these creatures, and they're losing that guy, and they're losing they're just losing a bunch of people. I mean, cool, yeah, they get, they get those counters, but you block here, you block here, and I mean, I think I just trade for one of these. Yeah, it seems fine to me. I don't need to lose a second one, but I also now, like, yeah, take five. But you lose your flyer, you lose a bunch of stuff. I don't know if I remembered that this guy has... Alright, I'm drawn too many lands now, but, you know, life's okay. That being said, I'm about to get a lot of free mana, so that's kind of funny. Yeah, we're just gonna keep pecking in there, there's no reason not to. Once again, we're still at 21. I don't feel the need to start jamming anything yet. They can make a 1-1 one, one here, which is not a big deal. This we can come with 5 or 6. Like, at this point, I think I'd probably block this with... What are you getting rid of? Probably my... S a little weird there. I don't agree with that. Omnath... I mean, I think he's just scared of Omnath. I guess he draws a card every turn. But I don't think Omnath was the problem here. If they, yeah, if they attack with a bunch of creatures, they're gonna try to flip this, which I think is fine. I'm just gonna eat a bunch of their stuff. They can't activate the build anymore. This does become a six or five four, which is annoying. But I am gonna block with my Dune Stomper. Yeah, I don't mind. This is fine. Okay, I would really like to... Stop drawing lands, though. I don't really mind if they flip this. It kind of just becomes a 5-5. Five five. It's kind of whatever. Yeah, this is fine. So it's not ideal. I only get to block two of the creatures. They get to flip the thing, but... Still doing okay. Yeah. I was gonna say it was like they gotta be careful. There you go. That's a better block. You figured that out. Alright, cool. They flip the thing. I eat two other creatures. They make a 5-5, five, five, but that's he's just a 5-5. Five, five. That's all he is. It's kind of funny, if I attack with both, I make them chump and they go to one. That being said, when you cast the spell, it's exactly two colors. I'm just not worried about that, I feel like. I'd rather make them, sp like, I'm at 21, so I'd rather make them just go, okay, I have to do this or whatever. Even if I need to here, I can just, like... Block with Flyle Racer if I'm afraid of... Okay, why would they play that? Now you can't pump your guys. Sure. Okay, they've just given up. Oh, no. That's fine. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Like, I get what you're doing, but you could also just surrender. You don't have a spell. Alright, cool. Well, we gotta win. Alright. Cool. Let's go on to the next game. Okay, um, this hand seems <laughs> interesting. I think I'm gonna keep it. If I draw a creature, I can fix any of my mana. Um, this card wipes this board of small things. Card kills, these other two cards kill stuff also. And it's probably not ideal. Okay, that's actually a pretty good draw here. Gives me a red source for this. Um... Less good, but fine. I would like a creature. I, I don't know why I keep drawing so many lands. I should maybe check my deck count. Maybe I'm running more than 16 lands. That's kind of annoying. Um, what 
do, I'm like, what are they holding priority on? Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna get, I don't want to get, get any more treasure. Um, this is fine. If they can play something big, I still have cut short, so I'm not that concerned. Oh, sure, Defender. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, deck, please. I don't understand why you feel the need to keep doing this. I guess I could do I guess I could do that. And just put all this on the bottom and try draw a new hand. I mean I don't hate that. I, maybe that's what I should have done. Oh, ha ha! Okay, no, it's fine. Oh, I don't want the white up. It's fine. It's fine. We have white. We got white. Ooh. Hmm. Could make one of these. Interessante. I think I'm just going to kill it. We'll see. See what they do, but I think I just want to kill this. Unless they play a bigger dragon, in which case I'll copy that, but we'll see. Hmm, okay. Oh, uh, okay, I see what they're doing. That's kind of cool. That's sick. I, I do like that. I'm going to kill this. Don't love it, but I think that's what I gotta do here. Put a 10. That is a good draw. So if they, even if they kill this, it gets rid of the counter, which means that this guy can no longer attack again. So I think that is totally worth it. And I don't feel the need to attack with the flywheel. Also, if I need to, I will... Oh, that's funny. So I am going to blow them out here. Nice tier zero damage shot. So I am going to blow them out here. So I'm just going to play this. Instant speed, I can do this. And if it's opponent has eight or more cards. They do not, that's fine. But I do get to copy their intercessor and take their intercessor and also get their other my intercessor back and get something else so i hope they play something because that's what i want to do here oh this is gonna be sick this is gonna be absolutely filthy and i love it so what we're gonna do here we're gonna create a token this copy of dark creature we're gonna copy this guy we're gonna the battlefield we're gonna exile that one which means I get mine back, which means we're going to exile that one. And now when that triggers, I now have three creatures for which to cast cut short now that they are tapped and attacking. Yeah, I mean, like even a opponent was like, that's that's pretty good. And now we attack. I mean, they could have the volcanic spite here, whatever. 
Or cut short, okay. Oh, so they get, okay, so now I get kind of blown out. That's fine. <clears throat> That's okay. Oh, I get very blown out here now, actually. Um, yeah, not, not great. Not one of my, uh, better moves. In fact, it's, it's quite painful here. And they do trade at least there. Okay, so that card's problematic now, though. Um, oh! Absolutely, what the shit. I mean... Yeah, I did not see that coming. That is for damn sure. Um, I don't really know what to do here. I think the plan I have No, this is fine. This is fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, attack with the Intercessor. That's really bad for them. They should not attack with the Intercessor. I know exactly what they're doing, and it's a bad idea. Nothing they have is Trample. So I know they're like, oh, I just attack with both, and they have the double jump, but I can sacrifice the Tilt Seeker to ping the Host Intercessor. Oh, he has five toughness. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. No, I, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Um, this is still not fine. So I block here. I block here. So it's not ideal. But that works. So is it ideal? No, but they have to get through that. I gotta just play this to draw one card. Please don't have like backup one here. <laughs> oh my god, how am I gonna claw my way back in this game even? I guess I have a lot of sagas. Not sagas, battles. Alright, so. We're casting this. We're draw two cards. This is not a oh god. If I had one more land, I can cast this to draw two cards. They never turn if they don't draw anything here. This is the problem: is they cannot draw anything, and I think they probably just did. The way they're looking at stuff, I think they did. But what if you didn't? Please don't kill me. Okay, no, we're okay. That's fine. Hell yeah, okay, we're fine. Draw two cards. We are actually now doing much better. Play this. Let's play this. And I think tap down this guy. No, I'm not going to attack. I don't need to. All right. Okay, we're stabilizing. And I can use Captive Weird to draw me a card. Or exile a card. So we'll see what we did. Get. Ooh. 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 Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. And now they're just going to chump, but that's fine.
Oh, they're not. Okay, cool. Short. Sounds good. Yep, I still have plenty. And I'll gain the life here. This is stressful. I'm so stressed out. Keep on the counter on. Okay, sure. Once again, okay, so we block here, we block here. Two blockers. And we give you minus three, minus three. And we each you. Oh my god, the best draw possible. Let's go. Oh my oh, oh. We are doing it. Opponent thought I was dead, but I ain't dead. Do I just make sure I flip it? Yeah, make a 4-4 angel. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. They're going to jump there. Creatures. I can just slam this next turn, which is gonna be crazy. Dude, I think I turned this I think I turned the corner. I think we're good. Holy This has been scary. Not out of it just yet. I'm still, I mean, I'm at six now. The gain the four life off that invasion was huge. They're gonna pitch a card, draw a card. That's totally fair. Um, that's fine. I'd rather draw cards than just have a, a beater right now. If they draw some kind of combat trick or something. Ooh, sorry guys, I am stressed. This is, this is a lot. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Not game over, so I'm curious. Yeah, it's not game over. But I have a blocker for their guardian, and I have a blocker on the ground, yeah. Ooh, good draw, good draw for them. Oh, <laughs> we did it! Oh, guys, that was crazy. Okay, that was a very, very close game. All right, I will see you in the next one. Okay, this lets me for a cycle. But other than that, it doesn't let me cast anything. So we're not going to keep that. This is fine. I think we're going to throw back meeting. That can't be right, can it? Throw back meeting. I don't know if that's right. I'm kind of an idiot, so who knows. Um, yeah, 
just gonna play weird. Then I'm gonna play some gain lands, some gain lands. That card's good and problematic. I can just flip it, which is not great for me. I do have. No, nope, he's gonna. Because he gets a ward. Oh my god, this card's so dumb. Okay, yep, well. I really don't know how to deal with this right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, this seems real, real bad for me. Just taking six here? Yeah, I mean... Why, the, why do you have ward? Oh, I don't... I, wait, white... Red, I don't have all the colors. I'm gonna gain some life here. All right, so. Yeah, the problem is I don't. I have white and green on the same, so I can. I mean, this could be white, green, red, blue. I know. I, I can get there next turn. I can get there next turn. Holy chamoli! What is? Why are you? What? I mean, I'll just. I was like, I'll just block that dude. I don't mind that. It's okay. Is he just going to flip him now? No, okay. Like, we're, we're mega dead here. That means that I can actually... Well, hold on. If, if they cast a spell, I'm dead. It's not dead dead, but I'm dead. Oh, right. Fuck you, do. That's just rude. All right. This is fine, this is fine. I know, a lot of pain. I'm paying the ward. <laughs> like, I, I gotta. So I don't think I have anything. Um, I generally don't know what you're supposed to do against this card. This card is so nutty. Sure. Yep, sure. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. It's fine. Whatever. I had another untapped mana. That's really upsetting. It's fine. Hiya! I mean, I'm still dead here. This card alone, just giving up menace was like, oh my god, just absolutely unbeatable. All right, dog, you need to just stop. I mean, I, I dead. Like I'm, I'm, I'm dead, dead. Yeah, yeah, you're a good game. That's fine. Okay, well, we'll go to the next game. That's fine. Uh, this card is stupid and should be banned forever. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Next game. Okay, this hands. Um, actually, fine. We're gonna keep this hand. We have basically all the colors of mana that we need. 
Um, this lets me play order on two if I need to, or if I want to just play another gain land, I can. Um, drawing that makes me want to play order. Uh, sure, that's fine. Yes, lose all the abilities, that's fine. Okay. Um, that's fine. I think I'm just going to convoke meeting of the mines. Do we need to see double? Do we need to invasion? Hmm. Let's invasion here. Sure. Why not? It's like no harm in it. Okay. Eventually, it's good. Even if they flip, I can kill that thing. They spent a minute to flip. That's totally fine with me because it's still pretty mid. I've caught you what I'm meeting. Yeah, we're, we're 25 now after taking that hit. Another one. Okay. I think I played this. I don't think there's a point of putting it on the order there. Um... No, I think I'll just keep it on my server blade. And I'm just gonna, I mean, if they want to attack me before, that's fine. I'm gonna convoke meeting. Ten I'm at 25, so I'm not particularly worried. They want to use like the you know exile a card on the invasion. That's fine. I think this invasion's pretty mid. I mean, getting me a life and drawing a card, getting four life, drawing a card is kind of what I want it for. Um, yeah, let's convoke. They want to counter this. That's fine. This card's kind of whatever. Cool. Kind of a funny draw. No, that's actually pretty good. Instant. There's a sorcery. Okay. So let's play a captive. Let's play a captive. You have. You have five mana. Are you going to draw two cards? Do you have counter spell? It doesn't seem like you've. It's held up the mana. It's like the. the do you want to counter a spell? Oh, I guess maybe so. I guess they should be responding quickly with... Ooh, and drawing Omnath there is big. Oh, that's actually so huge. Yeah, I'll attack in. If they want to block, that's fine. Or cut short my guy. Yeah, that's fine. He just a 3-2. You don't even got... Okay. So I can play Omnath next turn, and I'll have mana to keep flipping the weirds because of Omnath's ability, which is kind of sick. That's annoying, but fine, but I still have C-double, which really does solve this problem. Or... I mean, that's kind of neat. Yeah, let's just do that. Just get a two for one. I don't really care about that guy, so cool. No, I can, I can, Omnath, I can see double. I have options. I can vanquish, actually. Vanquish is actually probably a better thing to do. But only get, if they are able to kill my intercessor, that's really awkward. Yeah, I'll take three.
the option to kill him. Get my thing back. Um, this is fine. I'm gonna pay retail. Yeah, there you go. There's all math. Locust of all. He's got locusts, baby. Horrible. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. That's a win. We count those. All right. I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay. This hand's weird. If I can find a blue mana, this is good, but I... I think I'm gonna keep it. I think this hand's probably really risky and probably a dumb keep. Never mind, it's the best keep ever. I am a genius and I will accept no uh, nothing else. Right, there you go. Like, can I can I cast my guy? Cool. Now next turn I can play flywheel, and it also means that I can be able to cast weird to do all the stuff I need to do, so this is actually sick. This is actually a fantastic start. Yeah, so we're gonna play this and we're gonna play Dog, what do you why are you holding priority? You, you're tapped out. Stop being dumb. No attacks. Sure. That's fine. People are too afraid to lose creatures, and I stand by that. He just didn't attack because he was afraid that I would block, and I honestly think that's silly. Cool. Um, yeah, I think we're good now. We got mana, we got draw cards. This doesn't remove anything, but if we draw one of our battles, this will be sick. Yeah. Okay, that's annoying, but fine. I guess I lose my blue mana here, but I have Convoke and I have a blue creature. So that's fine. Unless they have a second one, in which case that's less fine, but it still lets me Convoke stuff. Yeah, I can't activate... Well, yeah. Sure, that's fine. Um... I mean, I think I'm going to activate this ability. Cut short, okay. Um, no, it's fine. I think they might have had a cut short. It is a little annoying because if they don't attack with anything, I don't get to use this, but it's also kind of, like, probably... Sure. I don't like main decking this card, but I get it. I think it's fine. That seems really stupid. Like, I'm taking damage here, but I also now get to just kill your guy. I'm like, I'm, I've got to do that. I have to cast this, so I'm, I'm going to happily kill your person. I would I draw an untapped land if possible? Sure. They can make that a 3-3. Three, three. Yep, that's fine. I can turn it into a 0-0 zero, zero very easily if I want to. There's also if I even need to. Right now, it does not seem like I need to. I'm happy to throw a counter on here. Throw this bad boy down. And yeah, we're cool. We're chilling. 
I can block this here, block either of their guys really easily. Um, sure. Not ideal, but fine. I can get my... Okay, that's fine. That was a very aggressive one. I don't know if I agree with that choice, but it's fine. Um, Alright, what do we got? Not a great draw. I think I'm just gonna slam this. Yeah, I think this is fine. I mean, they have a 3 3, I got a 6 5 now. Oh, that's problematic. Okay. With that we need to deal with. I would have liked both those cards. That's a little annoying, but that's fine. That seems very good here. And finish you off. Right. Yeah, I mean, okay, you're gonna mill me. I'm gonna kill you before you mill me. That card has done quite well two games. That's fine. Okay, sure. I mean, you get a life here. Cool. Chalk another one up in the win column. And move on to the next game. And this hand is unkeepable. This hand's even more unkeepable. To five we go. I don't want this to be our third loss, but it kind of feels like it's about to be. And we're on the play, which means we're just going to five. Great. Uh, this hand <laughs> sucks also. But I mean, it's what we got to do. Uh, wow. This is so bad for us. Holy crap. Um, okay. Okay. This is, this is, this is bad. This is real bad. This is so bad. Okay. Um, oh, they're also going to six though, at least. They kept six. I'm going to throw Ray and Pager. I'm going to throw Asriel on the bottom. I just don't think we're doing anything with it. If we draw land, we can play Serpent Blades. So that's good. If we draw a land, we can play Serpent Blade. Say it with me. Sorry, Untap Blade, Untap Blade, Untap Blade. No! Curse me! I was a fool. Oh, they didn't play anything. Well, we're fine then. Um, I think I'm just gonna play a 3-3. Three, three. That's pretty good. But it's not that good. hi -ya! Karate chop. I love Rona. I think Rona's a cool character. She's one of my favorite commander decks. That's not a knight. Haha. -ha. That just taps my guy down and doesn't stun them. You fool. Um, I think it's probably worth killing Rona. I think I'm going to get aggressive here. Oh, that's so bad. Holy shit. What the... they hit do i have anything nope sucker they have the rat 
And, oh, they have a couple things. What do they choose here? Oh, they chose this guy. Okay. Yeah, that guy's, uh, that Garuda is problematic. That means that I can draw cards here. I can cut short Garuda or whoever. That's annoying, but fine. It's annoying, though. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't do that. of it. I don't want it. Get out of here. Oh, this hurts me. This really hurts me, but I, I really need to land. Um, that being said, I am going to cast Zerda, which I believe means I can also just use his ability for free. Oh, okay, no, it's still one. It can't reach it to less than one. Okay. I was wrong when I said Incubate would be free. It's still gonna be one. I forgot about that text. Sure, I'm draining, being drained for two. That's fine. Two, yep. That's fine. See, I really wanted to see. Oh, this is actually only three, though. I forgot about that. Ooh, I would have had enough mana. Okay. I forgot. That's fine. And this will actually be two? That's kind of cool. Sh okay, sure. But that's fine. Um, sure. Can I kill them here now? Because this should cost. And this is lethal. Let's go. You got greedy. Pew! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Whew. Zerda's no block ability coming through. All right. That's a good win. All right. Let's go to the next game. All right. Is this hand playable? I think the answer is yes, because we're also on the draw. It's pretty wonky, but if I draw any land, that card's pretty good for maintaining and holding on the board for a while. Um, that's why the worst draw on the deck. Um, if I'm able to land this and flip it, I also get to use it to convoke cut short, which is pretty good. Okay, once again, um, any land, please. I would love any land in this deck. A mountain would be preferable. Sorry, any untapped land. Once again, I keep saying any land, and I keep lying. Okay, great draw. I am just going to flip. Yep, we're just flipping here. We're not attacking now, because I don't want to... They have a fight that sucks, but it is what it is. It seems like they have a fight.
but I would appreciate it if you did not have a fight. Let me rephrase this. Please don't have a fight. Oh, they didn't even attack. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, sure, I guess I'm gonna tap down your guy. Okay, that's pretty good. Sure. I guess questions do even trade here. Probably. I don't even think it's like the best thing in the world. Sure. This card's very good though. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. Cannot play that. I can play this though and cut short still. Which is not nothing. Pretty good. them I would um, I don't love I don't love throwing away my guy here but I think I don't want them to get the 4-4 four four right now that's annoying I'm kind of getting really sick uh, I mean I guess to be fair like I said I am oh that was thank god I had a second planes here um Is it even worth? No, I think I'm just gonna let him flip it. Okay. Let's see what they do. They have a lot of mana now. And really, it's just a 4 4. Like, it's good, but it's nothing crazy. That's problematic. Holy guacamole. Yeah, that's. That's a problem. That seems unnecessary. Why you do that? Okay. Uh, you have to get rid of one of your guys at least. Probably your death touch guy, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, probably. That's what I figured. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. I'm not really sure how to deal with it. Um. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. This card is so crazy and limited. I don't know why you play that afterwards. Oh, because you drew it afterwards, that's why. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the problem here. It doesn't even kill it anymore, Jesus. Like, first strike, death touch. Like, I genuinely don't know. Oh, right, though. 
Oh, this is I'm not just dead. If they have any removal, I'm just dead, so we'll see, but. I mean, I take nine here. That's if they have nothing. Like, the fact that all your creatures in the battlefield tapped, it has first second death touch with four minutes. Like, I don't know what you're supposed to do about this card. Um, I'm really sad we didn't open one of those. That would have been incredible with Omnath. Yeah, yeah, they got it. Okay, that, that's game. Yeah, I just don't even think it's... I mean, I guess we'll technically play it out, but... They just surveil two here. Like, yeah, this is... I don't even think I have a, just a straight up removal. I have the Alabaster Intercessor, but that card got cycled away. So I don't think I actually have an answer for this. Oh, that's hilarious. I lied. I have an answer to this. That's so funny. Oh, does that... Holy cow. All right. We're already basically dead. Does this resolve the spell first and then the copy? If so... This is gonna be sick. Please let this work. That's, my guy was dying anyway. Why, wait, hold on. I don't understand why I did it in that order. That I think is stupid. Dumb. I guess this resolves first. We shouldn't have done two and then made the creature. We should have copied the spell. I guess it copies the spell, makes the creature. That's. That's so weird. Okay, that one seems like a weird judge ruling. I, I'd be curious about that one. That's a little frustrating. I was really hoping that it would copy the creature, um, it would copy the spell and then the creature so that it would do two damage, create the 4-4, four, four, do the other two damage to wipe everything else. I'd get the people, plus I'd also get Thalia. But also, no matter what, Thalia was coming in tapped because of Thalia and the Gitrog. Um, that's fine. That was five wins. So, this deck was... It had some really good cards, but I think this deck was overall pretty crappy. Um, I think we pushed the five color soup as far as we possibly could, and we got five wins. That is not nothing. I think we basically never saw this card. This card's pretty crazy. Um, Omnath didn't really get to stick around much. He did just win the game we played at one time, and his ability's not bad. I and mean, the fact that we can transform stuff with the free floating mana. Um, Voldan Thrill Seeker was great. Uh, I mean, honestly, this deck did a lot better than I thought it would. Render Inert was fantastic. We cast this a lot, and it flipped a lot of battles. Um, and Zerda was also great the one game we played him. But no, um, I think this deck was a lot of fun. I think I don't recommend going this hard into five color. I think that's a mistake. But as we proved, it's not the worst deck you've ever seen. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining for this draft. Uh, I'll be doing some more soon, so, you know, stick around. Hope to see you guys again soon. Peace.